TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we got all the U.S. indices traded to the upside. The Dow's up 250 points. That's about seven tenths of a percent. The S&P eight tenths or 35. Nasdaq 100 137 nine tenths. Russell up one and three quarters, one and six tenths percent exactly. Uh, that's 35 points to the upside. Semis are up slightly a quarter of a percent or eight points. Trannies are up. New York Stock Exchange. Spot Volatonics is down by 15% today. So you'll want to watch that. It's off $3.20. Uh, just like when we have those one-day rate. Oh, you're not seeing my chart. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Give me a moment here. No. What? Oh, you're seeing that blank. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. And this is. Um, uh, <laughs> so now you're taking a look at the charts out here. Or at least my screen, that is. So we're talking about the spot volatility, index, which is, again, down by 14 percent, 15 percent right now. Um, so the exact opposite. We talked yesterday, I think the day before, about the one day rates of change above plus 10 percent. We also have the one day rates of change below minus 10 percent. Those tend to be initiation moves. That signal price would head to higher ground come next week. So watch that uh, at the end of the day. Gold's up three bucks. Silver is off eight cents. Lights recruit back a buck two. Uh, let's take a look at our nine panel charts out here as quickly as we can. The ES mini upper left hand side. Price likely targeting resistance. That would be 4444, the top of that profile. Spot volatilix targeting the 50-day exponential moving average. If it closes below at 1784, being uh, short is not its message, at least the message of the spot volatility index. Brand new profile attempting to form inside the NQ. That profile confirming what we knew weeks ago that uh, because of these profiles that are forming, they're signaling to us a consolidating market. And remember, those consolidating markets are difficult to trade. They become intraday type trades or two day trades and things of that sort out there. So you don't want to get married to your positions out here. Not now, not until we get some type of market that decides to move in one direction or the other. The NQ signal is clear. It's a consolidating market. Take a look at the U.S. dollar index has made a nice move right up to a resistance level. And that is the uh, center of its monthly profile. And that's at ninety three dollars and seventy one cents. And if uh, the U.S. dollar index were to close above that, not likely to be today. But if it does close above it, let's talk about next week. That says the U.S. dollar would head to 96.15. But that's not the message right now. Hey, folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show if you're out to start your Friday. Have a fabulous one. We'll see you on Monday.